Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dauntless video with Stylus Mustache here and today gonna show you guys the low life Radiant Chain Blades and Warpike build. So basically this build right here will provide you a lot of fun combining attack speed and DPS for the Reza Kiri Chain Blades and Warpike. So without further talking, let's jump straight into the build. So for the weapon we actually have two different choices. The first one is Fangs of Dawn, which comes with plus 3 cutting and its unique effect is 10% chance for attacks to hit twice. Now for the mods we're using Reaper's Dance and Serrated Blades, which are the two best mods in terms of TPS for the Chain Blades. By the way, you can use uh, any mod that suits your playstyle, it doesn't really make that much difference. Now for the cells we're using plus 3 weighted strikes and plus 3 rage. Now for the second weapon of choice, we have the Spire of Dawn, which is Reza Kiri's Warpike. As you can see, I don't have it upgraded because I don't really enjoy uh, playing with Warpikes. By the way, if you want, you just put the same cells in the cell slots and you have the exact same build. Now for the helmet, we're using the Light's Crown, which comes with plus 3 conduit, and for the cell, we're using plus 3 Wild Frenzy. Now for the chest piece, we're using Boreal Resolve, which comes with plus 3 Rage, and for the cell, we're using plus 3 Iceborne. Now for the gloves we're using the Strike Down Gloves, which comes with plus 3 weighted strikes, and for the cell we're using plus 3 conditioning. And for the legs we're using the Boreal March, which comes with plus 3 Iceborne, and for the cell we're using plus 3 Wild Frenzy. And last but not least we're using the Dress Eye as our lantern, because that's still the best lantern in the game, and its instant effect increases our damage by 30% for 6 seconds. And for the cell we're using plus 3 Conduit. So now let's move into the perk summary. So here we have plus 6 conduit that increases our attack speed by 25% for 8 seconds right after using the lantern hold ability. Plus 6 iceborne that gives us 30% decreased damage taken and 8% life steal that cannot heal beyond 50% health when under 50% health. Plus 6 rage that increases our damage by 25% when under 50% health. Plus 6 weighted strikes that gives us plus 40 stagger damage and after dodging through an attack, your next attack deals plus 400 stagger damage and it also lets your strong attacks for the chain blades and war pike to interrupt behemoths. Plus 6 wild frenzy that increases our attack speed by 25% when under 50% health. Plus 3 conditioning that gives us plus 15 stamina regeneration. And plus 3 cunning that gives us 4% critical strike chance. So that's pretty much it for the build guys, now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration so you can see how good this build is in an actual fight. So thank you for watching guys and now check this out!
So that's pretty much it guys, if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Dauntless videos like that, so thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!